Hear ye, lords and ladies, and all in your retinue, a story I know very well that I will now share with you. This tale is for all ages. It is a treatise about pride. Its intent is for the good of us, not for those with black hearts inside. Now the wait is finally over, and the present is the time for my very own creation, a Wall Street nursery rhyme. There once was a firm on a place called Wall Street, where the bulls and bears roamed amidst the pulsing New York heartbeat. There were financial wizards and geniuses galore, located in a pristine skyscraper nestled on the top floor. Their degrees were from Oxford and Harvard and Yale. Their names were Astor, Rockefeller, and Hale. These titans of finance, these sultans of stocks, came from the finest white shoe firms, not the school of hard knocks. Their hubris was large, almost as big as their brains. Pride blinded them to the fact that it would all soon go down the drain. But let us go back to the earliest days, when hope was still alive and our yearning hearts were ablaze. On the hedge fund floor, mathematics was king. If you were a PhD, then you were allowed in the ring. Many simulations were run by men and women with might on giant supercomputers that ran throughout the night. Data was crunched, fancy graphs were prepared, conference calls were conducted, and no expense was spared. Meanwhile, upstairs in the main investment bank, we held our heads high because of our rank. We dined on free lunches, flew first-class flights, and graced five-star hotels where I spent many a night. The company sought clients and made a big splash, but the one big difference was the firm made no cash. I mean, zero, like none. One year went by and then became two, yet still the firm had nary a clue. One day, the CEO got an idea in his head. Pay us what you wish, no more and no less, he said. We were stunned when we heard this incredible plan for clients to pay whatever they can. What if they pay us nothing, we immediately said. Even the famous Wall Street paper was scratching its head. When clients heard of this ridiculous plot, they said, no thank you, but we think we would rather not. The free food then vanished, serious faces ensued, and all the work anyone did was sit there and brood. The leadership met in their fancy boardroom and determined to continue onwards and decreed, no more gloom. Determined not to fail and yet still move ahead, they embarked on a new strategy. And here's what they said. If we hire more and more and more, then surely by next quarter we will have money in store. For this was the logic that had led them astray. Throwing good funds after bad never ends up okay. For a moment they survived, but then came a black swan and finally, in the end, $77 million was gone. That's right, $77 million. So don't be too smart or big for your britches, as there's no guarantee you'll earn endless riches. The end.